Well, the sequence of events by which light gets from the retina to being perceived in the brain is a very interesting one. So here we have one side of the retina there on one eye and here we have the other side. And of course we've got two eyes so it's going to be similar situation on this side. Two parts of the retina on either side. Now this is the medial aspect of the retina near the nose. So this is sometimes called the nasal retina. It's going to be the medial part of the retina. So in red, the nasal areas of the retina, as the nose is going to be in the middle here somewhere. But we also have this side of the retina here that's um, on the outside, so that's lateral. The lateral retina. And that's sometimes called the temporal or the uh, peripheral retina as well. Now light's going to come in here and that light is going to stimulate the generation of nerve impulses in the retina. Those nerve impulses are then going to travel back in the optic nerves and they travel back to a central area called the optic chiasm. So this is going to travel back like this. This is going to travel back like this from this side. And it's the same with the uh, information from the nasal retina. That's going to travel back this way. And it's going to travel back that way. And this, of course, here is the optic nerve leaving the eye. And this is going to be this join up in the it's a cross-shaped structure, optic chiasm, means cross where the nerve fibres cross over. Now what happens next is particularly interesting. What happens is the fibres, the axons carrying the information from the nasal retina, they actually cross over like that. To the opposite side of the brain areas. Whereas the ones from the lateral or the temporal retina, they stay on the same side. So decusation means the crossing over. So we get decusation of the nasal retinal fibres, but we don't get decusation of the lateral or the temporal retinal fibres. And all of these axons here are the axons of the uh, ganglion cells. Carrying this information back into the brain. Now next, these fibres go into a, the universal kind of junction box of the brain the thalamus so there's two thalamic nuclei this is the right and this is the left so these fibers go into here into the thalamus and that's where those fibers terminate they stop in the thalamus there like that but we're not quite there yet because the occipital lobes of the brain are oh, the very back of the brain. So they're here like this, in their two hemispheres, of course. So these are the occipital lobes of the brain. Now these neurons from the ganglion cells terminate there. And then there's another set of neurons that carry the information back towards the brain before we pass on to that this bit from the chiasma from the chiasm to the thalamus these are called the optic tracks so 
So we have the left and the right optic tract. So it's optic nerve to the uh, chiasm and then technically it's optic tract after that. Now the next thing that happens is there's a set of neurons, th 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 these synapse, so those neurons terminate there in synapses. And they communicate with another set of neurons. And these neurons radiate out to the visual areas. So this is the uh, occipital lobes at the back here. So the right occipital lobe and the left occipital lobe. And this is where the primary visual centers are that change the neuronal information into our perception of light that represents the environment. And, and because these spread out a bit, these are called the optic radiations. So this is the optic radiations here and here. And then the electrical nerve impulses are perceived here as light. So what we start off with here is real light. That is transducted into electrical nerve impulses in the retina. These are coded and tra transmit this information back posteriorly. Optic nerves, optic chiasm, optic tracts, thalamus, optic radiations, back into the occipital lobes where once again, these are perceived as light and we see them as light. And it's always fascinated me that the light you're seeing now, that impression, that understanding of the light is actually generated in the complete darkness of the occipital lobes.